Today's story is Dal Delight by Subhadra Sen Gupta. Siddiq was sitting in his father's food stall in a small gully in Lucknow, brushing off flies from a platter of biryani when he saw a man in a silk achkan get off a horse at their door. Two servants followed the man. Looks rich. Is he coming here? Siddiq wondered. Siddiq's father, Muhammad Qadir, looked up from the kebabs he was frying on a huge angiti as one of the servants came up and announced, Nawab Hassan Ali has arrived. The man in silk entered and looked around their small shop. I hear you are a famous cook, Muhammad Qadir, he said in a bored voice. I like tasting new dishes. What do you make best? Dal, said Sadiq's father and went on frying the kebabs. Dal? Just dal? The Nawab asked, surprised. I can make biryani and korma and all the usual dishes, but you asked me what I make best, Kadir said calmly. But dal? That doesn't sound very exciting. My friends were praising your cooking so much, I expected some new extraordinary dish. But you haven't tasted the dal I make. Fine, I'll taste it. What kind of dal do you make? Urad, give me some. Let's see what's so special about it. I haven't got any ready now. What? The Nawab said angrily. I make my dal shahi urad only on order, Kadir said. I use a special masala. It takes a day to make. If your honor wishes, I'll prepare it for tomorrow's lunch. Nawab Hassan Ali agreed reluctantly. I live nearby. You can bring it to my house tomorrow. I'm sorry, sir. That's not possible, said Kadir. Sadiq sighed to himself. His father was being difficult as usual. His Abajan lost a lot of customers because he was such a fussy cook. And this Nawab looked rich. Nawab Hassan Ali had never met such a rude cook, but he was also amused. What's the problem now, Kadir Mia? Huzur, to enjoy my dal, you will have to come to my shop. It has to be eaten immediately. So your honor, once I call, you will have to come at once. Really? What if I'm late? I'll throw the dal away or give it to the poor, Kadir replied sliding some kebabs into the hot oil with a hiss. Nawab Hassan Ali shook his head. This Kadir was like no cook he had ever met. Ah, well, he thought, let's taste his dal. Maybe it will be worth the trouble. Call me tomorrow when you're ready, he said and left the stall. Sadiq sighed with relief. He had been worried that the Nawab would lose his temper and leave. Sadiq knew that Nawabs often gave generous rewards to cooks if they liked a dish. His abu had nearly spoiled everything. Sadiq was rather scared of his father. When Muhammad Kadir became angry, the neighbors said, crows flew away cawing and street dogs hid behind trees. It was lucky that the Nawab had been in a good mood and agreed to all of Kadir's conditions. His father was capable of refusing to cook for the Bacha himself if he wasn't treated well. In the evening, Sadiq went with his father to the market to buy the ingredients for the Dal Shahi Urad. Only the best would do, of course. Each grain of Urad had to be perfect, no broken bits. Cinnamon sticks, cardamom, coriander, cumin, cloves, garlic pods, onions, ginger and turmeric of the highest quality, saffron and milk for the fragrant pure ghee, green crisp mint leaves for the chutney. Adab Kadir Mia, one of the servants who had accompanied Nawab Hassan Ali, greeted them at the vegetable shop. How's the shopping going for the Dal Shahi Urad? Adab, said Kadir shortly. He didn't like talking unnecessarily. Sadiq smiled at the man. Your Nawab Sab seems to like eating, he said. Ah, doesn't he? The man laughed. It's his greatest hobby. He's always on the lookout for new food stalls 
And if he likes a particular preparation, he gives fabulous rewards. Really? Sadiq asked, excited. What has he given? Well, once he was so pleased by a pasanda and pulao in Aminabad, he bought the cook a whole shop. A whole shop? Sadiq exclaimed wide-eyed. The Nawab is very rich. Last month, he gave a diamond ring to a chef for his ferdi. Kadir was calling him, so Sadiq had to leave. But on the way home, he dreamt of the reward his father would get. He knew that his father's Dal Shahi Urad was as good as any pulao or pasanda any cook could prepare. Early next morning, Sadiq set to work with his father. He helped him clean the dal, make ghee, grind turmeric, peel and chop the onions, garlic and ginger. Then he watched Kadir cook the dal. With the dal, Kadir made a light cucumber raita, mint chutney, a vegetable dish of cauliflower and potatoes, a plate of creamy and soft kakori kebabs. And once the nawab sat down to eat, he would serve freshly baked tandoori rotis. For dessert, there were bowls of firni. Sadiq had sneaked a quick taste of the dal when his father wasn't looking. It tasted utterly delicious. It was a secret masala that made all the difference. Everything was ready. The dal in the handi was bubbling gently on the angheti. Balls of dough, moist and ready to be slapped into rotis, the raita cooling in an earthen bowl. Kadir turned to his son. Go call the Nawab, beta. I'm ready to serve lunch. Sadiq ran all the way to Nawab Hassan Ali's Haveli. He reached the house panting. I've come to call Nawab Sab for lunch. The dal is ready, he said to the servant. Go up to the roof. Nawab Sab is flying kite there. Sadiq tore up the stairs to the roof. The Nawab and his friends were completely engrossed in flying kites. Sadiq went up to Hassan Ali and said timidly, Nawab Saab, the dal is ready. My father is calling you. Hassan Ali looked down at Sadiq. Who? Then he seemed to remember. Ah, yes, the dal. One of his friends laughed. Forget the dal, Hassan. Your kite is in danger. The green kite is about to cut it. Hassan Ali hurriedly pulled at his kite. Just you wait, green kite. I'll get you, he shouted. Nawab Saab, Sadiq interrupted, worried about his father's temper. The food is waiting. Yes, yes, Hassan Ali said, irritated. Tell your father to wait. Can't you see my kite is in danger? Run along, boy, one of his friends said impatiently. Can't you see Nawab Saab is busy? But the doll, Sadiq gave up and sadly walked away. All his dreams were fading away. He knew what would happen. He knew his abu's temper. The moment Kadir heard that the Nawab preferred to fly kites to tasting his dal, he would fly into a rage and give the handi of dal to the first beggar. They could forget about the reward. Sadiq felt like crying. On reaching home, he looked up. The Nawab's kite was flying overhead and his friend Aman was flying a kite from his rooftop across the lane. Suddenly, a wonderful idea struck Sadiq. He ran to Aman's rooftop. Aman, do me a favor. See that blue and silver kite? Cut it fast. Sure, no problem, said Aman, grinning. He was a champion kite flyer. He made a special kite string with a layer of ground glass that could cut through anything. Sadiq raced back to the Nawab's house. He ran up the stairs and reached the roof just as Aman had positioned his kite directly above the Nawab's. Aman gave a sharp tug. Oh no! Hassan Ali groaned in dismay as his kite was cut and wafted down towards the ground. Huzur, Sadiq said, the food is waiting. The dal is delicious. Oh, yes, yes. The Nawab suddenly remembered the special dal. Now the kite's gone. Let's go and eat. Sadiq raced ahead, his heart thumping nervously. 
Oh Allah, he prayed, don't let Abu lose his temper. Please, don't let it be too late. The Nawab and his friends entered the stall. The best room had been readied for them. As they sat down on the carpet, Kadir came in with the dal, and Sadiq followed with piping hot rotis dripping with butter. Sadiq held his breath as Nawab Hassan Ali broke a piece of roti, dipped it in the dal shahi urad, put it in his mouth, chewed slowly, and then closed his eyes. Ah, he said softly. Sadiq let go of his breath. The Nawab dipped a second piece of roti in the dal, scooped some raita with it, savoured it, and said, Vah, Kadir Mia, your dal shahi urad is truly heavenly. I have never tasted anything better. Even a rogan josh pales before it. After a few more mouthfuls, Hassan Ali continued, You deserve a reward. Tell me, what would you like? For the first time that day, Muhammad Kadir smiled. I would like to have a bigger food stall, Huzur, near the Imamra. Done, said Hassan Ali, dipping into the vegetable and helping himself to a kakori kebab. He called one of his servants. The servant bowed and put a bag full of money in Kadir's hand. This should be enough for your new shop, said Nawab Hassan Ali. Now give me some more of your dal shahi urad and a roti. Watching his father serve the Nawab and his guests, Sadiq grinned to himself. Now they would be rich. Later, he would tell his abu how he tricked the Nawab into coming on time. He knew his abu would laugh and give him some money, maybe a whole mohar. With it, he and Aman could buy kites and tops in the market and treat themselves to kulfi and faluda. As Nawab Hassan Ali ate and ate, Sadiq smiled and smiled. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the story. We'll see you next week. Stay safe and wash your hands.